In this video, we'll be looking at tricks to convert recurring decimal fractions like 0.3 recurring to simple fractions in the form of A by B. So let's get started. If you may recall, recurring decimal numbers are of two types. One is pure recurring decimal and another is mixed recurring decimal. So there are two different tricks for converting these numbers. So let's do this with the help of an example. We want to convert the number 0 0.4 recurring 4 to a simple fraction. So the first step here is to count the number of repeating digits. So number of repeating digits here is 1. Only one digit is repeating that is 4. So number of repeating digits is 1. So the trick to solve this, the trick to convert this is write the number without the decimal point. So I have 4 and divide it by number of 9's. So here only one digit is repeating. So I would divide this by 9. Let's take another example. If I have this number 0 0.43 recurring. So 434343 is going on forever. So here the number of repeating digits are 2. Only 2 digits are repeating 4 and 3. Both of them are repeating continuously. So I would write 4 3 that is the number without the decimal point and then divide it by number of 9's and the number would be equal to the number of repeating digits. So here are 2 digits repeating so I would write 2 times 9. So this is the simple fraction for this number. To prove this, let's take the calculator and find out find out if our converted fractions are correct or not. So if I divide 43 by 99, I should get exactly 0 0.43 and 43 must be repeating. And that's what I get, 0 0.43434343. Let's check this one. If I divide 4 by 9, I should get 0 0.4 recurring. And that's what I get. For mixed recurring decimals, the trick is a little bit different. Let's convert this number 0 0.252, in which 52 is repeating, to an equivalent simple fraction. So the step here is to first count the repeating digits and the non-repeating digits. So the repeating digits are 2 and the non-repeating digit is 1. So this is for repeating and one digit is non-repeating. Now here's the trick. In the denominator I would write two nines because the number of repeating digits is two. So I would write two nines and the number of non-repeating digits is one. So I would write one zero. So two nines for two repeating digits and one zero for one non-repeating digit. So we have the denominator ready. Now in the numerator, you have to first write the number without the decimal point. So I would write the number without the decimal point. So this is 252 minus, we have to write the non-repeating number. Here the non-repeating number is 2. So I would write minus 2. So this is non-repeating number. I would rather say non-repeating digit. And this is the number without decimal point. So that's it. There we go. You have to just solve it. So this comes out as 250 by 990 and the 0 gets cancelled out. So you have 25 by 99. So let's again revise this. First you have to count the number of repeating digits and the number of non-repeating digits. Here in this case the number of repeating digits is 2 and non-repeating digits is 1. Now first calculate the denominator. For repeating digits you have 9's and for non-repeating digits you have zeros. So there are two repeating digits so you, you would write two nines and then there is only one non-repeating digit so you would write one zero. Then in the numerator you have a subtraction. So on the left hand side of the minus you would write the number without the decimal point. And on the right hand side you would write the digit which is not repeating. So the non-repeating digit. And then you can calculate the simple fraction. Let's see if this fraction is actually uh, yielding this decimal fraction or not. So let's divide 25 by 99 and indeed 
it is coming out we have 0 0.2 that is there you go 0 0.2 and 52 is repeating so 52 52 52 so our answer is correct convert 32.72 repeating to simple fractions now you may be tempted to solve this by using the method of converting pure recurring decimal to simple fractions but you cannot do that I'll tell you the reason first let's convert this into an equivalent decimal fraction you can write this 32.72 recurring to 0 0.32 then 72 recurring you have just pushed the decimal point to the extreme left multiplied by this term multiplied by 100 so this is uh, the same thing this this is the equivalent of 32.72 recurring so so now this is a mixed recurring decimal fraction hence i said that you cannot solve this using pure recurring decimal fractions method of converting into simple fraction so let's convert this by using the previous method that we learnt so we have to convert 0 0.3272 recurring to a, an equivalent simple fraction and then we will multiply it by 100 so 0 0.3272 recurring now the number of recurring digits are 2 number of non recurring digits are 2 so the first step is to calculate the denominator so in the denominator we have we have two two nines because there are two recurring digits then we have two zeros because there are two non recurring digits now in the numerator we would write the number as it is without the decimal point so that is 3272 minus we have to subtract this number the non recurring digits so we we write minus 32 there you go so 3272 minus 32 is 3240 divided by 9900 now this is not the answer you have to actually multiply this by 100 so we have 3240 by 9900 multiplied by 100 so these two zeros gets cancelled out so you have 3240 by 99 now you can basically cancel out terms here you can you can divide both the numerator and denominator by 9 so 9 times 11 is 99 9 times 360 is 3240 so that is essentially 360 by 11 let's find out this is this correct or not so 360 divided by 11 gives us 32.72 recurring so that is our correct answer